I really like to go to the supermarket. I can spend hours in the supermarket and just look at the new products. I'm mostly interested in the quality of the food. You have to be proud to be a food technologist because you can have an impact on the daily life of the people. The food industry, first of all, is the, one of the largest industries globally. But also the degree of innovation that is in, in the food industry is very impressive. You don't see this, but if you think every time you go to the supermarket, you see some new product. And behind that new product, there are people who design the product, uh, produce the product, uh, scout for new ingredients. So it's a continuous innovation. I decided to study food technology because I always liked food and I always liked uh, cooking. And in school, I realized that natural sciences are what is most logical to me, which is easiest to me. So then I found in food technology that it would be the perfect fit for me. Wagen University is number one in food for now many years. So if you are someone working in food around the world, Wageningen is the first name that come to mind. We always say Wageningen is the Disneyland of the food scientist. You will have fun and also you will have a, you know, reward in, in the type of, of study you are doing. It's, it's fundamental in some aspect. You can really be challenged by the theory and so on, but also applicative. You can you know, design uh, food, you can uh, test your ideas in different courses. Let's say you cannot be bored of study food technology. Every period you have uh, new courses that challenge you in a different direction. So when you graduate with, uh, in food technology with the stick of Wageningen on the top, it's really in a, a big asset on your CV. We're using a lot of sugars and stuff like that. And there are always possibilities to reduce the sugar or the fat and just bring in more natural based compounds to get a bit more quality. Getting back to basic is just to gain more taste and quality without those added sugars, salts and fats. Since I have a background in food technology, I also see the production side of the products. For example, when you have cookies with like a cream filling, which has more moisture than the cookies itself, and you have to make sure that the cookie still stays crispy. I want to become a product designer. Like the nicest would be for like a big food company, of course, because you have so many possibilities, because they usually not only have like one type of product, but many different ones. You have many possibilities also in making career and becoming like more than a product designer.